once again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in this video i will explain about the usage of linting in typescript using eslint so what is lint or linter it is a static code analysis tool used to flag the programming errors bugs and stylistic errors so basically it is an automated checking of your source code for programmatic and stylistic error why i went for this topic is in some of my videos i explained about the cdk it is a one of the way to automate the process of creating infrastructure to programming language the language which i used to write cdk is typescript the process is even more important when we are working as a team so that everyone will be on the same page when it comes to the code base syntax and style and also to ensure there are no type typos or bugs when our app is in production we should do some type check of our code along the way so this is where both the formatting and linting tool can help us to automate this process let us learn how to make these tools work together in our applications in this video we will focus on using eslint in typescript the prerequisite for the video is knowledge about typescript i will give you a short intro about typescript over here typescript is known as a super set of javascript that help us with static type checking at the compile time using typescript you will get a better development experience let's see how the typescript works in the demo for that what i am doing is like i just created a visual studio code and here we don't have anything i'm just creating a file with the package.json because i will be installing the dependencies and this file should not be empty so i'll be creating with some braces and just saving it and uh, for the file what i'm doing is like i'm just creating a folder source because i need to keep my uh, typescript fold files will be over here and i want to install my java typescript over here npm using the package manager npm install iphone iphone save iphone dev and uh, typescript i want to give typescript that's it now it will install the dependencies over here and you can able to see in the packet a json file and it's getting added now what i'm doing is like i want to create a file with the ts for typescript so the extension will be like ts index dot ts now just adding some functions so it will have some simple lines like it is a numbers constant numbers of type number array and just adding the add number function so the parameters will be params will be added over here in the numbers that's it now let's see how the typescript will get compiled over here what will do is like during the compilation the typescript code will be converted into javascript so that the browser will be able to read it let's see how it will doing for that what i have to do is like i need to make the command for compiling npx tsc and my file will be in source folder source and the file name is index.ts that's it and see here after the compiling it will create a javascript file will be here okay i think i didn't save this file just saving it and uh, again running the same command now let's see again a javascript file will get created with the javascript here by default what will do is like the compiler will create the javascript file side by side with your typescript source file itself suppose if you have 10 typescript file means it will have like 10 different javascript file over here and it will be having kind of a clumsy and it will be confusing one so what it is uh, what we can do is like we can create a compiler settings file for the typescript for that what we can do is like we, there are two ways you can manually create a file here or you can use the script for what i am doing is like i will be creating a file over here the file name will be like tsconfig.json so what i am doing is like i am creating tsconfig.json this is a config file for that and i already have the contents over here i will explain about this contents and what it allows like it will tell like where by the output directory or compiled file will be there so i can say like it is in dist folder and what is the target and what is the model name and what are the files it need to include so whatever settings you can able to have it over here and you can modify the settings like as you need it over here and just saving this file and in the packet of json what i am doing is like i'll be to make sure uh, the the running the script will be easy i am creating a script over here and it will be the name of scripts and here what i am doing is like i am just giving the name as run or build i can give it as a build and the command i can give it is like t 
TSC, that's it. So it the TypeScript will run this build the command now. Now what I am doing is like I am just giving npm run build and let's see what is happening over here and it will take all the files and it will create a dist folder over here. See here now instead of creating the type JavaScript file in the same source folder it will be creating under under the dist folders. So here it will be and I am just deleting this file. And, and this is the way how the TypeScript will work like for during the compilation it will create the JavaScript file so the browser will get understand. Now let's see how to make use of the linting over here. As I said right the linting is one of the most popular tool for the linting which it will analyze our code not only for the potential bug but also like improve the code quality by defining the coding conventions and also we can enforce it like what we can do it and all. Let's see like how to do it. For that what you have to do is like we need to install the dependencies through the package manager whether you can use npm or yarn let's see I can make use of npm I have given a command npm install eslint parser and plugin and save dev now let's see what is happening and here the eslint is the eslint core library and the eslint slash parser is that it is a parser that will allow the eslint to understand the typescript code and with the eslint plugin is a plugin with a set of recommended typescript tools let's see what is happening over here and it is installing all the dependencies now let's see what is happening and also like similar to typescript compiler settings right we have to use the compiler settings or uh, settings file for the eslint also let's see what how we can do that one again there are two ways for creating the compiler setting file for the eslint either you can do it manually or you can use the CLI. Now I can make use of the CLI option. Let's see. Once it installs this uh, everything, we can go with the CLI option. Now let's see what we can do is like I will be making use of npx eslint iphone initialization. So what it will do is like it will create the compiler setting file for the eslint and it will ask some few questions like what you have to do and all. Let's see what are the questions it is asking. Yeah, it is now asking like how you would like to use ESLint. I will be making use of, I want to make use of like to check syntax and find problems. And it will ask like what type of model, JavaScript models. And it is asking like what framework, I am not using any of this. And it is asking like whether you are using project, TypeScript, yes. And it is asking like where does the code run, it is in the browser. And it is asking like how the config file should be in, whether it is in the format of JavaScript, YAML or JSON. I am making yes, like JavaScript, that's it. And it's as like whether you need to install now with npm. Yes, I need to install with the npm. That's it. So in the left hand side, you can be able to see the eslint config file will be created with the extension of .js. Yeah, see here eslint will be created. And here you can be able to see the options like the parser. The parser means it will tell the eslint to run the code through the parser when analyzing the code. And the parser option is like it will specify like what J J JavaScript language options you want to support such as the version of ECMAScript syntax you want to use. And the plugin is like this is where you define the plugin to use what kind of plugin you are using. And the extend in the sense like it will tell the eslint like what configuration is set to extend from. Here the order is matters. The last extend option will override from the previous one in any of the conflicting configuration. And the environment which the en uh, like environment you want your code will run in. Now let's see we have added it right and uh, what I have to do is like I am in the package.json file to make use of easy what I am doing is like I am just creating it the lint to run the scripts. Let's see what is the command I want to give is like I want to give eslint and iphone iphone extension I want to use make use of the file dot javascript and also dot typescript file space dot that's it. And if you see it over here, if it running means it will execute all the JavaScript file, all the TypeScript file. But I don't want the full files which is in, inside the node modules and the disk folder. For that, what you can do is like similar to git ignore, there is a ignore file for eslint also. We will be creating the eslint ignore dot eslint ignore file will be there. And here I will be giving my node underscore modules folder, node underscore modules. 
and dist folder and also i don't want to include the javascript file which is a compiler option file eslint eslint rc.js file that's it now what i am doing is like i want to include this option right so in the package.json file here you can give it iphone iphone ignore file ignore iphone path so in the ignore path you can give that eslint ignore file eslint ignore file that's it now if i run the npm run lint it will start analyzing my code let's see what is happening over here see here it shows like there is a error what is the error is like then add number is defined but it's not used so here in the index.ts the add number is the function has been declared and it's not it's defined but never used over here and the errors will be there don't use number as type use number like this so these are the options it is giving over here in the during the eslint and here there is an option called in the eslint there is a called rules what it means like here it is giving an option of adding the rule if you are overriding it means it will be overriding from the extens and here you can, it can it can give an option of like whether you can switch on the rule or it can off the rule or what it want to what you want to make it off for example what i am doing is like i want this rule to throw as an error not as a warning see here now as of the unused variables is throwing an warning but i need to show it as an error for that what i can do is like here inside the rules i'm just adding it over here and instead of warning i want to make it as an error so for that what i can do is like i can give error suppose if you want to as a warning means you can just give warning or if you want you don't want anything means you just make it as off so it will get turn off the rule completely or if you don't want to give like this string means you can just give like the number variable 0 1 or 2 0 means it will turn off the rule completely 1 means it will treat as a warning 2 means it will throw it will throw an error now i want to throw make it as an error this one i'm just saving it I, if i again rerunning it means what will do is like let's see again npm doing npm run lint now it will make it as three errors instead it throw the that's a warning now it is throwing us an error so when we are adding the eslint rule we are overriding it from the configuration defined so make sure like whatever the rules you are defining it over here it will be overriding from the extens list and this is a way you can able to run it over here and uh, if you want to make uh, the error here itself means you can add some of the extensions for example eslint is an extension you can enable it and uh, i want to uh, make the error as a printed in the console itself for that the error lens will be there you can enable that also error lens error lens will be there and uh, if i enable it it will be giving the error message here itself see here in the printed line it will be going, giving the error messages the editor itself see here it is a add numbers different but never used and also another feature of eslint is like you can automatically fix it by help of the quick fix or you can have the, with the command line iphone iphone fix so by this way you can make use of the static testing tools effectively and it is a great to have some automation for specific tasks like linting formatting and type checking using this typescript and eslint together can boost our confidence in our code it help us to prevent the bugs and also can save us the time in the long run i recommend you try to you to try the using the typescript and eslint for a better developer experience if you have any doubts on installing this eslint and or making use of the eslint just add it in the comment section i'll be very happy to help you guys thank you guys for watching my videos